Oscar goes down around him. Only one more fight. It's a frag. It's a double from Rops. Now he picks up the AWP. Oh, ho, ho, that is beautiful there from Rops. And Na'Vi can't quite seem to get anything going. Think down to Paz. Picks rush out the air. Now another one from Paz. What else can he? Oh my goodness, Paz. Set piece. See what the response is from SK. You can explode together with these grenades. It can be very, very potent if you find some good timings. And those entry frags. Cold though. Will be delivering a nice defense to kick things off. Does get traded out in the end, but it is a very prolonged affair. Slow about this. It's only going to get more chance to hit to SK Phelps though. He can't quite find the play as the smoke disappears. And that's going to give a big... Comes an eagle down to two health. Crim's the last man standing. Fur goes down around Zacco. He can't get it done. It's up to Crim's now. So Crim's says... Oh, Crim's. Ever dependable Crim's. It's being applied towards A. That's a great kill for Brosh. Feel relatively safe. Picking out the perfect time. Actually, he thought he got that kill with the first couple of bullets, so a little bit of hesitation there, but he's going to follow it up. And Rush doing a fine job, forcing out the round, comes through, and there's the ace, picking it up and shutting down the other case. What's the ball for him as well? Flaming Alert, I'll have that. Two extra frags for me. To add to your mind, press and simple. They tag that, oh my goodness. Mitch gets a nice legal headshot, but that is just a small. And he's looking for the fourth as well. Doesn't want to overcommit. Knows Oscar still has to walk into oh the my side. God. He's up to a fifth. And Sunny is all that is left. He will. Grenades won't do much on this occasion, but the guns will. Top taken down eventually, but it's a man advantage for SK. They are very good at getting hit on the players who are dead. And there's a third joining them as well. And second defuse. This is not realistic. Down he goes. That means Cold Zero alone. I don't think this is going to work out for SK. Oh, there it is. So immediately, we the bounce of the smoke. Retake, we just level with carrying it for seven by bolts off by and long in space. On top of his he's found Nico and Olaf. Not further, ooh, he's hit one of two, so it's not much further to go. He does the right thing, get up, he's spotted. Very, very well, but Graham's gets the spray! Absolute piece so far, he sees the shadow. Oh! Graham's again! Go with this. Oh, but there's lots of players and lots of utility, and not to mention Fallen himself. Missing the shot on Sunday Row, but won't well, miss the second one. Three kills for Fallen in this round, and he's finished his off the He's still get taken down. Meanwhile, Fnatic are charging into the A site. Tom's picking off JW now. He's got players around the smoke, Fallen blind. Him. But so is Lecro going in for more now, looking to work the off angles like an absolute god. Lecro does it all. Five kills for Lecro.
Kurgan. He can't reposition. He has the frag! He has the frag and he gets only one! And now that's Cloudline moving quickly towards B. They have the utility. Another fragment holding the angle once again, but does he go high? Does he go low? It is a dance, and now they can see multiple angles. Tarot going takes all the spice down. Guardian on 11 HP. Rain peaks, and he gets the angle now. Superior angle is there to fuse for the CT side. The non just yet. They're spamming the grenades. They're touching the bomb, and now goes Rain. Another bomb. Age of Champions! That is the most insane way to win a major. It could hardly have been more difficult. They weren't the favourites, they were the underdogs. They were a heavy underdog, but they did it for North America. Skadoodles won the major! This has to be one of the most incredible storylines we've ever had. A North American team.